Hey, it's Dan Phoenix here. So in today's video, I'm gonna talk about me getting the symptoms known as COVID and what that actually looks like. And oh my God, it's like the Grim Reaper. So many people are fearful around it, but for me, I'm personally not whatsoever because I am someone that has empowered myself over the years from learning so many different things on health and healing to address any sort of symptom that may be induced within me or any different health issue or anything else that may be going on that affects my wellness and my happiness and just the way that I feel and function in my everyday life. So around two weeks ago, I ended up waking up and I just felt so fatigued, like extremely fatigued. And this is not like me whatsoever. Ever. Unlike when I was on the vegan diet that I quit late last year after being on it for six years where it destroyed my health so drastically that I couldn't function for seven months. But since I haven't been vegan, I've been feeling amazing. And yeah, alongside that fatigue, I just got the most extreme body aches. It just felt like really, really bad inflammation. It felt like it was getting into my bones. It felt like something was eating away at my bones. And I just felt overall really, really bad. My temperature would go up and down at certain times. Certain times I feel really hot and clammy, but it turns out that I wasn't actually that hot. And I was just generally not feeling that good and had a whole host of the other different symptoms that are known as COVID as well. But when this was going on, I didn't think to myself, oh, is this COVID or have I got COVID whatsoever? I just thought to myself, okay, my body has something going on. I've definitely got some information going on. My dopamine levels are definitely low. My appetite had completely disappeared. So that's a sign that my body needed to actually save a lot of energy, conserve a lot of energy, even more so to speak, by not eating loads of food, which actually uses up a lot of energy in the body. So it can start to heal and repair itself. So, I just listened to my body and rested loads and loads and loads. And I stayed away pretty much from all solid food the majority of the time. The only thing that I was normally consuming was raw milk. So the majority of the time I was raw milk fasting and that was making me feel really good. And my body felt drawn to that. But I significantly reduced my calorie intake and the thought of eating meat or many other foods are just like, no, not whatsoever do I want that in any way, shape or form. So instead labeling it as COVID or something else, like doctors will do, I just like, okay, this is what is going on in my body. I'm listening to my body. I'm doing the things that I know will allow it to fully heal and regenerate. And I know that I'm gonna be absolutely fine. And within about five days, all the symptoms had vanished. But I did feel my strength was definitely still lower and that I couldn't necessarily go back in the gym and start training as hard as I do train in the gym on a weekly basis. So when I started going back to the gym, I had what is known as like a deload week. So for about a week, I massively reduced the intensity and the weight that I was using during my bodybuilding workout sessions in the gym. And then after that week period, I started to fully regain my strength and stamina and endurance. And my sports performance just started to go all the way up and I just started to feel as best as I could feel. And now I've been able to consistently work out in the way that I normally would. And when I was actually coming back to the gym about day two, after the symptoms went, and I felt like I could go back and do this deload week. Someone said to me, where have you been? And I was like, well, I actually got sick. I wasn't feeling very well at all, which is not like me. It's the first time I've ever got sick since not being vegan, which I quit back in November last year. So it's not very common for me to get so-called sick or get something like COVID or the symptoms known as COVID. And he said, what symptoms did you get? And I said, this and that and that and that. And he said, it sounds like you got COVID. And I was like, actually, you've got a good point. So someone else made me aware that I may have had COVID, but then a lot of the COVID symptoms could also be connected to some other different health issue or some other type of bacteria or some pathogen or something else. So yeah, I didn't get tested for it because I'm not concerned about it in any way, shape or form. My body managed to overcome it on its own because all of our bodies have the capability to do it. But as we know, most people, they're going to bed way too late, they're eating loads of processed refined garbage junk foods that are full of sugar and preservatives and refined plant oils. And then there's a lot of people that smoke, drink alcohol, a lot of people that are dehydrated a lot of the time that drink very toxic drinks and just have a lot of very unhealthy 
lifestyle practices and a lot of them don't normally work out as well so when they're doing all these different things your immune system is compromised all of the time you've always got inflammation throughout your body whether you're aware of it or not you can get a c-reactive protein test if you want to find that out or not and their body is just not functioning optimally at all it's not thriving in any way shape or form it's surviving and just getting by so these people are the type of people that are more likely going to get sick with covid and they actually get some very horrific symptoms that could do some very devastating effects that it did not do to me in any way shape or form but if you do your research up online the majority of people that do get covid they just get minimal symptoms it's not something to be concerned about whatsoever but a lot of people freak out about it and they say oh don't be around me and yeah but i believe in herd immunity if you don't know about that you can do your research up on that but yeah it's all good i got through it i'm still alive wow what a surprise my body can actually heal itself so yeah if you actually get out of the body's way and listen to the signs and s signals of what's going on with it and stop doing certain things that are stopping your body from healing and regenerate guess what it will start to heal and regenerate fully and whatever's going on with you it won't overtake you so badly that it just completely destroy you and that's what happens with people long term they don't listen to the signs and signals they end up taking pharmaceuticals like cough suppressants or other certain things that just suppress symptoms they're not actually addressing the root cause of the issue that's going on that's causing those health issues and symptoms and then over a long period of time guess what happens you end up with chronic health issues things like the big c word and many other of the top killers out there for people and that massively reduce their maximum lifespan and yeah i'm glad that i got it because the likelihood of me getting it again in the future is very low because it does help your body build immunity actually doing this type of thing where you actually allow yourself to get something like COVID, just like chicken pox. The likelihood of you getting it again in the future is rare. It is still possible, but the likelihood is a lot, lot lower. And yeah, I still live to tell the tale, but everything is fine. I like that most people in the world are just freaking about this whole situation. It's like, wow, you think there's actually some very, very deadly thing that's going around that's like from some zombie apocalypse film. But yeah, anyway, I would like to share my whole truth and thoughts on that subject, but YouTube doesn't want you to talk about it. They might not even like me talking about it in this video. But yeah, I've tried to share some of my own personal truth, but not go into too much detail so I don't get into trouble. So yeah. Any comments or questions, leave them down below. As always, don't forget to like. Make sure you share the video with others that you think may want to watch this video. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the bell button. Don't forget to click it. Once you click the subscribe button, otherwise, if you don't click the bell, you won't be notified of when those new videos are coming. And I have new ones coming almost every single day. So, as always, stay happy, stay healthy, stay strong, and enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.